Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Friday, July 23rd. This summer is just flying by. Um, just a reminder that today is Friday. Tomorrow is the one day of the week that I take off from doing The Walk. That means that I'm being obedient to God's command that we take one day for rest. That's that one day. I will be back with you Sunday morning for a full message. And um, I, I already have some ideas about what that message is. The Holy Spirit's been kind of giving it to me all morning long. Uh, yesterday we were in Hebrews 12, I believe. For some reason I'm thinking it was Romans. Nope, it was Hebrews 12. And <clears throat> we were talking about the sacrifice of following Christ, the sacrifice of answering that call. That it does cost you some some time, it does cost you some energy, that there is a cost for following Christ. So today we're talking more about that, but we're talking about the blessing that comes with following Christ. And this is a prayer that um, was written by David. It's in Psalm 20, and it's a blessing that he gave to the people that he, were, he was talking to. And this is what it says. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of the Lord. May the Lord grant all your requests. So basically what he's saying, excuse me, my nose is running, um, is he's, he's giving this blessing over the people and he knows that God is faithful. He knows that God fulfills his promises. He has seen that over and over in his life. And he say, he's praying this over these people. Verse six, now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. So this is what David is saying. He's saying, I am 100% certain over this, that the Lord gives victory to the people that he has anointed, that he answers him, that he answers the people, and that it is his victorious power of his right hand that overcomes our hurdles, that overcomes our barriers and our relationship with Christ that's what we use as our source of strength. It's not our strength, it's his strength. Verse seven, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. <clears throat> now you have to keep in mind, David is the king, he's the leader, and he is giving them that direction. And he is saying, we're not gonna put our trust in our equipment. We're not gonna put our trust in our own strength. We are going to trust in the name of the Lord and his promises alone. Verse eight, they are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. Now, the next passage that I have um, here is Psalm 34. <clears throat> and this is definitely a psalm that you can pray. There's no doubt about it. Um, and as you're reading through it, it gives you that peace. It gives you that um, reminder that God is with you. Even when you're going through those hard times, when you're struggling with what you're sacrificing, that God is there and he is with you. So it says, I will extol the Lord at all times and praise his praise will always be on my lips. <clears throat> so basically what he's saying is, I'm going to praise the Lord at all times. I'm going to constantly be, keep him on my lips and I'm going to constantly be aware of what he is doing and praise him for it. Verse two, I will glory in the Lord and let the afflicted hear and rejoice. He's saying, I'm going to praise God and the people who are afflicted, the people who are suffering are going to hear that and they're going to join me in that praise. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. He's saying, Lord, come and join me in this praising God. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. So he's saying, when you search for the Lord, you get that answer. It's gonna be in his timing, but you will get that answer. 
and he will deliver you from all your fears. Remember, the only healthy fear is the fear of the Lord, and that's that respectful, reverential fear. That's what that's all about. Verse five, and this is such a beautiful verse. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. When we are constantly looking to him and we are constantly seeking that guidance, our face is radiant. They're not covered with that shame. Yeah, we may have people persecuting us. We may have people calling us names. We may have people calling us a, um, a Jesus freak. That's not something to be shameful about. That's something that you praise. They saw that in you. They saw that change. They're aware of the fact that you are a new creation. That's what that's about. So how do you pray this? This is just the first five verses of Psalm 34. This is how I would pray it. God, I thank you that you are there with us at all times and that we can praise you all through our day. We can constantly have that in our lips. And as we constantly praise you, the people that are around us are hearing that and they have the opportunity to join in that rejoicing. Lord, we thank you that we can glorify you together corporately when we're with other believers and that you exalt, that we can exalt your name over and over and over. Lord, we thank you that you have promised that you will answer us, that when we seek you, we find you, and you do deliver us from our fears. And Lord, we thank you that we are that new creation, that people do see that change in us, and that we are radiant with your love as we go through our day. God, as we, as we tackle this day, help us to remember that, yeah, there's a sacrifice in following you, no doubt about it, but... Your love is so incredible, incredible, and it gives us that peace that goes beyond understanding. That joy radiates from us because we get to be your little girl or your little boy. And we ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. As you go into your prayer closet, check out Psalm 20 and Psalm 34, verses 1 through 5. Pray over that. What are you struggling with? What is the sacrifice that you're having a hard time giving up? And give it to him. Use these psalms to give it to him. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on Sunday. God bless and keep walking the walk.